You touched about the helicopters being used. Part of that is because these fires are frankly hard to get to. Let me show you what I mean. This is the driveway in the front yard of a home here in Middleton. But as you see now, it's more than that. It's a staging ground for these crews, which are starting once again this morning to try to get back there to these fires, including one here in Middleton that has quadrupled in size in just a day. And at last check spans more than 250 acres. Firefighters across Massachusetts trying to bring what mother nature has not water. Hopefully we'll get some rain soon, you know, to help this, you know, situation, you know, it's tough. A National Guard Black Hawk helicopter dumping hundreds of gallons of water onto a brush fire in Middleton. This is one of the largest fires in the region. Well, about 250 plus, uh, upwards of 270-ish uh, acres burning so far. While the chopper hovers above Middleton Pond to refill, brush trucks from surrounding towns roll in one right after another. As the state waits to find much needed rain, every change in the weather is magnified. With the wind shifting and now with the wind the smokes in the neighborhood, it means it's blowing this way. Longtime residents now fearing for their homes. They have to give it more thought. Now, this is something totally new for us. Start looking at your documents that you need and uh, some photos just in case. Fires are burning throughout the state. The Massachusetts Department of Fire Services tells us there are 47 fires burning in the state as of Monday morning, 18 of them starting just on Sunday. The communities impacted include Salem, Wilmington, Beverly, Canton, Weston, and Stoughton. The concerns extend beyond the homes. Doctors flagging the potential problems facing children, older people, those who are pregnant or have underlying health concerns. Air pollution is not good for the health. And as the air quality gets worse, it becomes more of a concern with both immediate and long-term effects. So firefighters using neighborhoods now as staging grounds and also trying to use this to help the accessibility issue as you see these hoses now being run all the way to the fire hydrant to make sure that they can get the water where it needs to go as they continue to battle these brush fires in this area and you can get the sense that the overall message for people in communities like this one is to be alert for the health concerns we mentioned but also for the possibility of the smoke or the flames associated with that coming near houses here and they say if you feel like it's getting too close please call 911 this is what it'll look like if you do reporting live here in middleton stephen quinn seven news today in new england